Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be trying what is apparently the world's most full coverage foundation ever. This is called the Dermacol Makeup Cover. Um, it has been causing a total stir on the internet recently. I've had so many requests to review this. Apparently this will cover up everything. Tattoos, acne, rosacea, um, discoloration, everything. Like you pretty well put this on your face and suddenly you've got no eyes, no nose and no mouth. <laughs> Which of course I find very appealing because we all know that Nikkei likes a good full coverage foundation. So what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys this foundation, how it applies, how it wears. And of course how it performs on my oily skin. I'm going to um, wear this today. Now Brandon and I are actually going on a bit of a bike riding extravaganza. Now this uh, foundation is supposed to be waterproof so we're going to see how well it holds up through a little bit of physical activity. <laughs> and then I will come back uh, later on this evening and show you guys what my skin is looking like and whether or not I think that this foundation is worth it. So if you are interested in watching that then please stay tuned. Now I bought this in four colors because honestly the swatches on the internet I had absolutely no idea. Um, I've got shades 208, 218, 221 and 222. Um, let's open it up and have a little look. Now there is a bunch of writing on the packaging of these. Um, oh, here we go. Here's some English because there's a lot of stuff here that's not in English. Um, it says hypoallergenic waterproof makeup cover with SPF 30. Oh, okay. So it's SPF 30. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully we don't get too much of a white cast with flash photography. Um, it provides perfect coverage even in thin layers, not only for dark circles under the eyes, but also for unpleasant spots and skin blemishes. It may also be used for the whole face in order to darken or lighten the skin, ensuring ideal balance for professional makeup, photo or film shoots, modeling or festive occasions. Now the directions here says apply in a small quantity and spread evenly. Um, right. Doesn't say whether I need to apply it with a brush, my fingers, or a sponge. I've got no idea. Now, you get 30 grams of product in each of these. They're actually very, very small. But the good thing is this foundation retails for, I think, $12 or less. I think sometimes it's only $8, um, but it's like this teeny, tiny little tube here. 30 grams of product. Now, this is made in... Oh, it's made in the Czech Republic. Cool. Cool. Dermacol Film Studio Makeup Cover. It's just like a little gold tube. It's definitely nothing, you know, wham bam, thank you ma'am with the packaging. <laughs> so the actual foundation in there, um, it's got like a foil seal. Let's break that bad boy. Oh, you can do it on the cap. This reminds me of hair color. You know those at home hair coloring kits? That's what it reminds me of. Okay, so this shade is like way too light. Oh, it's very moosey. How bizarre. So this is shade 208. Yeah, honey. <laughs> Way too light. Let's go up. Let's try, let's try the darkest. Let's try 222. Whoa, okay, this is coming out really fast. That color looks a little better. I am going to use 222. So shade 222. Now this is such a strange feeling foundation. So that's it there on the back of my hand. Um, it's very moussey. Um, it's quite thick. It's not runny in any way. That's the shade 208. They're obviously way too light. And then this one here is 222. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and assume that I can only use a very small amount of this product. So I'll just quickly prime my skin. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. You guys know I love this for oily skin. So I've got a brush and a beauty blender here. So we're going to try um, different ways of applying it on either sides of my face. I'm going to start with the beauty blender because I have a feeling this is going to be the most effective. It's weird. It is like so incredibly thick. It's like putty nearly. What? Um, oh my God, that color's way too dark. Okay, guys, we need to revisit the color scheme. <laughs> 222, two, two, way too dark. Let's try 221. Two, like, damn, that's full coverage. Maybe I could mix a couple of the shades. Oh, 221 two, one is like basically a pink based foundation. Never gonna be able to wear that color. <laughs> 218. I'm hanging all my hopes on you. It comes out of these things so fast. Oh, see, look at that. This packaging is not great. Oh. This color looks heaps better. All right, 218. Take some micellar water and get that off. This is the Garnier one. I love it. It's my favorite micellar water. Going in with two, I mean, I've got it all over me now. Going in with the shade 218. It is so thick. Look at this. All right. I'm going to 
just apply little bits of this. I mean, I just don't know. Whoa. Okay. They weren't kidding when they said that this is full coverage. Oh my God. It's a very thick and I'm not going to lie. It's not the easiest foundation to work with. Like it's not particularly easy to blend. You've got to sort of put some effort in. I'm using this beauty blender here, but I'm feeling like I have to wipe as well. But seriously, you guys, look at that. That is like next level coverage. <laughs> um, this puts the Marc Jacobs one to shame. Shivers. Okay. It doesn't really seem to dry down too quickly. Like I'm, you know, I've got time to work it in. Toto. We are not in Kansas anymore. That is like, seriously, look at that. Full coverage, no coverage. Full coverage, no coverage. You wouldn't even need concealer with this, honestly. I don't think you would. If I blend that up underneath my eyes, look how much is still on the back of my hand. Now, obviously, this is a hot mess. Ignore this. But um, that's just what came out of the tube from taking the cap off. I have used the tiniest little corner of that, like... Seriously, not much at all, and I've been able to cover my whole face. Honey, I am shook! For interest sakes, let's try it with a brush. Now, I'm just going to dot it on first. Like, seriously, it is like, it's not foundation consistency. Start blending that with a brush. Mm. It really feels like you need to add moisture to blend it, if that makes sense. Like, say, with, like, a cream contour, you know how you can add oil or, you know, like, a spray, some kind of moisturizing spray to make it easier to blend? That's what this foundation kind of feels like. Um, but I must admit, I think that it was easier to blend out with a brush. So that is what it is looking like. It has covered everything. My dark under eye circles, um, my acne spots... Everything is gone. My pores actually look really nicely filled in. My skin looks really flawless. Um, the only thing is when you touch it, it hasn't dried down to a complete matte finish. I mean, it looks matte on the skin, but you know how, you know, long wearing foundations will dry down to sort of like a powdery finish. It does still feel a little sticky. And like, I used hardly any product, you guys. It's all still there. It covered everything. Oh my God. Honey, I am sugar. So what I'm going to do now is apply, you know, powder. I'm not going to wear concealer. I do not need concealer with this foundation. Like this is, it's covered. I am covered. <laughs> um, but what I will do is add powder, bronzer, my eyebrows, because I've basically covered them up. Um, all of that stuff, and I will come back and show you what my skin is looking like. Actually, before I do that, let's have a zoom in so you can see. So that is my skin now. It looks seriously insane. Like, that coverage is real. Oh, I really hope that this lasts on oily skin. If it does, this is going to be my new favorite foundation for sure. It's kind of like healthy looking too. Like, it's very, very full coverage, but I don't feel like I look like a cake face. What do you guys think? Oh, honey. I can't. I can't deal with this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the rest of my makeup on. I'm just going for super low-key natural. I mean, <laughs> this probably really isn't super low-key natural seeing as it's super coverage. But everything worked really well on top of it. The powder worked amazing. Um, you know, my blush wasn't patchy. My contour was easy to blend out. So as far as, you know, working products in on top, it performed no differently to any other kinds of foundations. My skin... Um, I feel like maybe around my mouth is starting to look a little bit cakey. I don't know, though. We'll see what happens when my natural oils come through. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now is wear this makeup all day and then come back and show you, you know, how it's looking after about eight hours. Like I said, we're going on, like, a bike riding adventure. We do that on Sunday sometimes. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, this foundation is really going to be put to the test. So, yeah, um, I don't really have too much else to say. I will also do a flash uh, test for you guys so that you can see um, if it's got, you know, a white cast. That will really break my heart because so far um, I'm really obsessed with this foundation. So far. But... We're about to find out the truth. <laughs> so, yeah, I will talk to you guys all very all right, soon. So, we just got home. Um, I've probably been wearing this makeup now for, I would say, eight hours. Yeah, eight hours. 
Um, something really bizarre has happened to my nose. I don't know if you guys can see, but the foundation has completely separated on my nose and it looks like really, really like, it's like scales. It's like reptile scales on my nose. I'll zoom you guys in so hopefully you can see it. I don't know if you can see, but you, there's all these like little dots. It's like my pores have sucked the foundation in and like, it just looks really awful. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see that. These lights always like hide everything. Um, it's completely separated and rubbed off my nose though. I don't know what the go is with that. Surprisingly, the rest of my face actually looks pretty good. Like I don't have too much oil on my forehead or on my cheeks. Um, it's definitely separating on my chin as well. I feel like we're too zoomed in now, hang on. <laughs> That's a bit better. Um, but yeah, the situation on my nose is not great and it only took about two hours for it to turn into this. I remember, um, you know, we packed the bikes and, you know, we packed the car and stuff when we were driving out and I'm looking at my nose going, oh my God, like it looks like my nose has got all like these tiny little spots all over it. So bizarre, um, you know, quite cakey around the nose here, but it's weird, like the rest of my face looks really quite good. So um, the only thing I can really think of is maybe it was the primer. I don't know, maybe it was the primer. Maybe the foundation's reacting badly with the primer um, because I really don't have too much oil anywhere else. My, oh, actually looking a bit closer, it's separating, separating all down here next to my eyes as well. I guess that um, because I produce the most amount of oil through my T-zone, perhaps it's breaking up and separating on my nose first. And then one would assume that the rest of my face is going to follow. It just looks like I've got like hundreds of little blackheads on my nose. It's really, really weird. So unfortunately on its own and as a result of today's testing, I'm going to say this foundation is a no-go for me. Um, I don't want my nose looking like this. Like this is not cute. <laughs> Hashtag reptile nose. Like seriously, not cute. Um, I think think perhaps I will I will test the foundation with another primer that doesn't have any silicon in it um, perhaps just you know a more basic like hydrating primer um, we'll check how that goes and I also think it might be a good idea to actually mix this in with a foundation that is very long wear but perhaps not as high coverage so I might even try um, mixing this in with Estee Lauder double wear which you guys already know is my holy grail it might produce some really really interesting results but I mean based on this situation and the separating and just the texture, like, I really hope you guys can see. It's all here, it's all here, it's all here, it's all here. Yeah, oh, and I took um, a flash photo. I'll pop it on the screen now. Um, very minimal flashback, I will tell you that. Um, despite the fact that it's an SPF of 30, very minimal flashback with that one, so that was really good. At this point in time, this foundation is no good, but stay tuned. I will keep testing it. I will mix it with different things. I'll keep trying to make it work because, holy crap, it looked so amazing when I first applied it. Like, so amazing. So amazing. And it was so full coverage. I've got no concealer on at all. And it's $12. Like, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you all so much. I hope you're having a great day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.